Pierce is the guy. That's always just how I felt. I was like, y'all disrespecting Pierce because he's really da 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 working. He changed it. He he's and he's really doing it. Like, walk to me. He just felt like sometimes niggas just be like, I'm in the NBA. That's how walk felt to me. Mm -hmm. Pierce wanted. He Boston. wanted. He wanted Boston. He wanted that shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And then when when Pierce got stabbed up in the city, I knew it was over. I was like, this nigga out. Because yeah. since the nigga stabbed me in my jersey, I don't need to be here no more. <laughs> we're violating. In we're my violating, in my we're jersey. violating on a level I don't understand. Yeah. Yeah, that's crazy. I need to be out the city. And that nigga stayed. And he didn't really rat. Some niggas in the city, like, oh, he right, he didn't. Because he said on that stage, he said he didn't know who did it. Mm -hmm. And niggas, he could have said, I know exactly who did it. Right. He kept it a buck. And not for nothing, after that, after that shit, after Pierce got hawked up, that nigga was balling. Yeah. I'm not even going to hold you. That was his 7 p.m. Bro, moment. Yeah, was that oh, nigga a fact. That was, was his 7 p.m. moment. Balling, bro. Fact. And that was when I was really like, I'm excited about this fucking team. And then he brought other niggas to the city. Garnett. Allen, which I don't even know how you get niggas to come when you got stabbed. That's yeah, crazy because I'm crazy. not coming. Yeah. <laughs> like, but you know what it is? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know what it is? I think getting poked up like that and 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 not only recovering, but recovering and playing NBA basketball. Which is why he is like Bro. that he is today. You know what no, I'm saying? I know. That's like, why I be like, let yeah. piss yeah. what he's doing. Let him let do what, what he do. Let him do what he And he could come through the city of Boston. Yeah. That nigga get love everywhere. Pierce could go anywhere. He don't he get good enough. He don't, he, he don't get enough credit. No, like, he don't. He don't get enough credit. Paul don't get enough. It, he was yeah. a real one, dog. Like, I nah. Paul is a real one. I remember this nigga did a commercial for New England Medical Center because that's who gave him the blood transfusion. Yeah, <laughs> like on dogs. Like, yeah. nigga, he's like on dogs, bro. I fuck with yeah. Paul Pierce. So Pierce changed the energy yeah. because also he was black. You got to understand, Boston's a white ass city. It's, it's a team that tried to always believe in whiteness. They was always looking for the next Larry Bird. Yeah. They, yeah. Wouldn't real, they wouldn't really, yeah, they was delusional, nigga. They wouldn't really recruit real niggas. And when they did, they wouldn't really give them that spotlight. They was the opposite of Hollywood. Boom. LA was Hollywood. Bum. Boston was blue collar. Blue collar. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I mean? You coming to work. So like, Pierce being like black and like we in here, and then he brought Allen, he brought Garnett. Like, he's, from he's from Compton. And he's from Compton. <laughs> nigga turned it up. That's when I really was like, this is my squad. But it right. took a while because it was a, a long transitional time in a city where it was just like, I can't care about this because this is really nothing. It's that hockey players playing in the Boom. 80s. You know, and that's just my story. I know some of my niggas gonna see this like, no, nah, forever. But it wasn't. That wasn't. It wasn't forever. Nah, nah, you are Boston forever. Like you yeah. are. It is what it is. It yeah. ain't, like but I whatever said, we was on, we was on. Whatever yeah. we was playing, I'm cheering. You know what I'm saying? But I get it. I get it. Especially I get the face of the city. The, the city itself. Where there's black people there. Where they're like motherfucker. If you want to come and see it, you can yeah, come and see it. But you could also never see it. Two that's things could happen in Boston. Yeah, yeah. And a lot of people have one impression of how the city is, so that also make them hate the team. Right. You know what I'm saying? I so, like the city. So I get that part of it. I don't it. know if they fuck but with I me, fuck but with I you, like dog. the city. And I was worried, I was like, cause we was becoming friends at the Knicks games, and I was like, I gotta tell this nigga. I feel like, I feel like. Yeah. <laughs> you gotta wear a pinch jersey? I gotta tell this nigga I from I the town, bro, cause I already know what it is. I knew what was going on. I, I already knew what was going yeah. on. You know what I mean? I wasn't gonna make the block hot. I just, <laughs> I, I, I knew exactly what was going on over there. You know what I'm saying? Like my my my, my thing with Boston, it was, was, it, was a, it was a, Deep situation. It was battles, man. It was battles. Mean, yeah, I'm talking man. about hotels and can't out walk outside the hotels and can't go to restaurants and like where niggas spitting in a sandwich. You know what I'm saying? Not one to, you know what I mean? Like one, yeah. not one to go eat, but like taking late night walks and you know what I mean? Like But you could have called like I wish I would have cause you could have called niggas, you could have came ate with us. Nah, nah, I had my spots though. You I, know was, what I'm saying? had my spots. The hood would have been like, you good. You, you just you knew where, <laughs> no, no, no. You just knew where not to go. Yeah. Right. You know, because most times you think of Boston as a bar town. Like, you know what mm -hmm. I mean? Like, most people come Absolutely. in town, they want to hit the bars and hotel is next to the bars. Mm -hmm. So that's where the fans is going to be. Yeah. Yep. But when you know how to move, you know where to go to, yeah. who to tap into. Ah, ah, ah. You right. get what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. And you do what you do and eat comfortably with the white napkin on you. You know what I mean? Yeah, you, cool. eat, <laughs> <laughs> you eat comfortably. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? I, I was real comfortable in Boston. <laughs> Shout out to you know those that know. I was real comfortable in, in the game town. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So my my deep rooted beef with Boston is 
just on court. Like shit is, I know, I know you can't be one or the other. Like it's not the oh, city nah, of Boston. You gotta, it's you gotta lock into one or the other. That's why, like, with, like I feel Especially like this being here, yeah, playing and like wearing that across your you chest. You gotta buy into all that shit. I bought it. I, I did buy into it. You do Yankees, Red Sox. I was buying into it. You got Rangers, it. Bruins. Like all. Oh, you got it. <laughs> you got it because it's real, bro. Word, it's yeah. not. It's real. Girl, you go to your hotel room during the playoffs. They playing all Boston sports. On purpose, every no, channel. No, can't play nothing else. Every channel, you in that bitch like. God That's why I love damn. my city, though. Like I don't even watch hockey. I gotta watch this. Yeah, that, 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 That's why I love my city. As, as fucked up and toxic as it is, you come to Boston, you you fucking with what we doing. Prospects has got you covered when it comes to helping you make some bread. Yes, sir. Prospects is a daily fantasy app where you can select two or more players, pick more or less on their projected stats and turn $25 into $250. Crazy. Prize picks is simple to play. I can make my picks and submit my entry in less than 60 seconds, B. So be sure to visit prizepicks.com slash 7 p.m. and use promo code 7 p.m. for a deposit match up to $100. In the meantime, stay locked in to 7 p.m. in Brooklyn.